Hi all again, welcome to another little tutorial. This is just to recap on yesterday I did another tutorial on a sewing member in my group called Cheryl. She'd actually posted just a couple of pictures with this sleeve on, just only part of the back, so I was trying to diagnose the problem. But now she's taken the sleeve off, I know what the actual problem is now. So Cheryl, that is your name, hopefully, yes it is. Your back shoulder is way too long. So that needs to be brought in. And also you've got to do the exactly the same on your front shoulder. So what exactly, whatever you put, take in on the back, you've got to take in on the front. You can actually, it'll be easier to put them together and then you draw over the shoulders when they're joined together, be easier that way. But I'm just gonna quickly show you this way. Also, your back width is too long as well because the actual fabric is coming over your shoulders and it's going right into your arms so this has got to be reduced and also the front has got to be reduced but also your armhole has got to be reduced here as well and of course that's going to affect your sleeve which I'm going to get on to in a minute or two so what you need to do I'm only guessing from from you because I can only from your photographs I reckon a good maybe half an inch on your shoulder at the back so just bring that down and just use I use chalk when I'm actually doing curves and on my new course which will be launched in a few weeks time I actually talk and demonstrate how to use chalk freehand curves doing curves freehand instead of using the French curves so try and use chalk and try and do some freehand curves it's a lot easier than you think and it's it's quicker so I'm just going to quickly show you on this, this is an actual jacket block, but it's the same front and back, I'm just, there's another section which is a side body, but don't worry about that too much Cyril, just quickly look at what I'm going to do. So if you go from the back, about half an inch, and then if you just come down, and then just bring it right down, because you need to get rid of this, and you need to come down into your armhole as well. I can't tell you how much of your armhole to do. Remember I was telling you about, depending on the fold, pin it, the fold on your back, chalk it on either side of the pin, and then take it apart. And those little chalk marks should tell you how much to take in this armhole. I'm not gonna talk about too much about this armhole for this book. You'll see when I draft a sleeve, from a one piece sleeve to a two piece sleeve, I'll talk more in depth about armholes because in bespoke time we actually the higher your arm a hole is, the more movement you've got with your arm. But I'm not going to talk about that in this little tutorial. So just come down here. So from the top, I think about half an inch over, you're going to have to judge and get someone to mark you. Mark in. But I reckon about half an inch. And come down. Chalk. Go under your arm. And come back up your front as well. Now that's got to be exactly the same. So if you take half an inch, you've got to take half an inch on the front. So whatever you take on the back, the shoulder, you've got to take on the front as well. So if it's half an inch, half an inch. If it's quarter of an inch, quarter of an inch. And you're gonna do this on the front as well. You've got to just scoop out that because you've got too much excess on the front and back. You'll see it on your arms. So just bring that back up there, whatever that is, and you've got to See, so whatever that is there, it's the same. I mean, I've done it less, but you understand what I'm trying to get at. So how much you take off that, you've got to take exactly off that. But it's easier that when you put the shoulders together, you can actually get a nice line across. So there we have it. So you've got to take off your front and your back, your front and your back, the same width at the top. Your shoulders are too long. You can see it's actually hanging over your arm, your shoulder, which you shouldn't have. And also on the front, you can actually see it's going into your, your actual bicep, your arm. So that's all got to be trimmed off. And also your armholes, that, you've got to scoop that out and get a little nice scoop, a little nice what we call a sewing run. A nice run there. And go back up your front and go back up to the exact width you're going to take off on the back shoulder as well. So hopefully this has helped you with the new alteration. That should fix a lot of your problems. Right, Cheryl, if you put your two shoulders, let me just pan this here. 
to get rid of this chalk. I've just done messy. This table is at the moment. Now, if you put your two shoulders, your back and your front shoulders together, it'll be easy for you to actually draw your line right through. They've got to be equal either side, okay? So you can do this and then get, come down that way. So you can do this method as well, which will be a lot easier for you, especially when you're beginning. Okay, so that's just easier to do this way. Just put the two shoulders, the front shoulder and the back shoulder, and then just go over how much you're going to take. And I think on your shoulder, you'll have to take it probably about half an inch. So hopefully this has helped you. Now, it can be your sleeve. So I'm going to quickly show you the sleeve. Now I drafted a one piece sleeve here. So I'm going to show you. Later on in my tutorials, I'm going to show you how to, I've just drafted this a couple of minutes. I'm going to show you how to draft a one piece sleeve and then adapt it into a two piece sleeve. And on jackets, you should always try and put a two piece sleeve in because it's shaped. From the elbow down, it actually shapes and you'll get a, bit of, a better fitted sleeve for the jacket. Now, traditionally, on bespoke jackets, we put a two piece sleeve in. So this is a two piece sleeve. This is the top sleeve, and this is what we call an under sleeve. Here, let me quickly show you there. Just turn this over. Now, you have a problem with the under sleeve here. Now, when you put the top sleeve and the under sleeve together, you stitch it on the hind arm and you stitch it on the inside seam here, and that's how it would be. Now, if this was a two piece sleeve, Cheryl, which yours is not, I would actually scoop out from the hind arm, because if you look at your hind arm, there's a problem at the top, at the back. It looks like there's a little bit excess of the hind arm, and you need to scoop out underneath the hind arm going down. So it'd be the same as an armhole. So you'd come down and you scoop it out here and go back up that front there. This is your back. So that'd be scooped out here underneath your armhole and go back up to nothing there. You're not using a two-piece sleeve, you are using a one-piece sleeve. So I quickly drafted a one-piece sleeve for you. There's your back, there's your front. Now a one-piece sleeve is drafted from the biceps plus ease or whatever. I don't want to, I'm not gonna to get too technical with use that because I wanna just try and resolve a problem that Cheryl has. Now this bicep is around 14 inches. So you establish your center line and half of that center line, you come out seven inches, and half of that center line, you come out another seven inches. So that will equal 14 inches. Now half of this, from the edge to the center line, you mark your back line. So that's half, so you measure that would be three and a half inches. That would be drawn, your back line, and you do exactly the same for the front. So half of that measurement from the center to the edge, you'd get your front line, and that's that. Now, if you fold it over, Cheryl, and then meet that in the middle. So you transfer your middle to the wrong side, meet that in the middle, and there we have it. And that's how your sleeve would be when it's sewn up on the inside. Now, we need to scoop out this from the back hind arm. If you look at your back hind arm, you'll see there's a bit of excess there. So we need to come from up here. I can't tell you how much to take out because that's why I always say to my students and to everybody, please make mock-ups. Because it will be a headache if you're cutting out the real material and you, you mess things up and it's, it'll be a real headache and it will waste your fabrics. So make up in cheap fabrics. Then you don't mind if you make mistakes or you've, you've scooped out more than necessary. So from your back, this is your back, remember. I've marked back. Come right from the top and do exactly like you do on the underarm on the, on the jacket on the front your armhole and come down. I can't tell you how much to come down, so you, it's kind of guesswork. So come down and scoop that armhole out and then come back up to nothing on the front, as in go back to nothing. See, and you need to scoop this out. And then you just cut it. So you cut the back and cut a little bit of the front here because you've got to go back up to nothing. And then at the front here. But the easiest way is just put them together, remember? And there you go. This is what you need to scoop out the underarm here, this under the sleeve. And you've got to go back up to nothing on the front here. And there we have it. Hopefully that's helped you. And I'll see you all soon on the tutorial because I will be 
showing you how to draft a one-piece sleeve and I'm going to develop it into a two-piece sleeve. So on that note, I'll see you soon. Ciao for now.